What's going on, everybody? This is Island Hopper TV Hotels. Coming to you from the Four Points by Sheraton here in Cuenca, Ecuador. This is the only Marriott property they have here. They actually don't have any Hiltons. Cool thing about this place is it's actually attached to a mall down below. But you can see they got a bar here, restaurant, cooks. Let me show you Cook's restaurant real quick. Yeah. Hola, just looking. Gracias, señor. It looks like you uh, eat your breakfast here, you pick it up over there, or you eat any sort of food, even in a restaurant. And, uh, yeah. So here you have the lobby, the concierge, check-in desk. Here's a look at the mall. It's down below there. All right, here we are at the 10th floor. This is actually where the pool is and the gym. Oh wow, it's an indoor pool. That is great. Outdoor balcony. Okay. It's nice that it's an indoor pool because it is actually kind of chilly outside right now. But you've got great views. Yeah. And we got the gym over here. Oh, I need my card. Okay. Nice gym. And the view of the mall and the city. So, there you go. Pool and gym on the 10th floor. Let's check the temperature here. Oh, it's actually heated. So they do have a heated pool. So here's the mall. It's actually downpouring all of a sudden. That literally just came out of nowhere really quickly, which has actually put a kibosh on my plans to go to the cathedral, but I'll show you around the mall here. So they've got a Columbia, a Civigon, I've never heard of those, but North Face. We've also got a head, the head uh, baggage storage tennis stuff, American Eagle, Aeropostale. You can see that. So the mall has a lot of shopping here. It's a very modern mall, super modern. Probably the mo well, one of the more modern malls I've seen here. GNC. All right, here's a look at the room. You can see two free waters. Bathroom. There's the shower. And I've already used the room, so I haven't uh, the perfect room right now. You can see I was already laying down. I forgot to make the video. So please excuse the mess, but the room is very spacious and clean. And uh, yeah, got room service QR code right here. A little notepad, phone. All right, so I stayed at this hotel for one night I walked around and explored Cuenca, which is a very beautiful town. I definitely recommend staying here for at least two days. Uh, I was only there for 24 hours, but uh, I got to explore plenty of Cuenca, so you're going to love that place. Very beautiful with the river. To get to the historical area from this location, it seemed like it took about 15 minutes in a taxi. They don't have any Uber in Cuenca, so you got to like hail a taxi from that mall that I showed you. 
And then once you get to the uh, city center, you know, you've got to get a, a ride back. Uh, but just tell them that you're going to the Rio Mall, uh, it's basically the way I explained it every time I was going and coming back. But uh, the location is still pretty good. It's right next to the freeway. It's a nice area, very safe, peaceful. Uh, not much nightlife or anything like that. No activities going on in that area. Right now, I'm currently in Lima, Peru, so I will be making some travel guides for hotels here from Peru. I've been here for two days already, so this is a little bit of a late upload, but customer service at this hotel is very uh, good, I would say. Uh, the restaurant staff is very friendly. They've got a couple beers right there. You can enjoy yourself at the restaurant, obviously, is uh, nice before you catch your flight or before uh, you go out in town. Um, the, the food service is also very good. Uh, front desk staff is competent and knows what they're doing. When it comes to the comfortability of the room, I found it to be a fairly comfortable room. The AC worked, um, the bed was comfortable enough. It wasn't the most comfortable, but it still worked very good. Um, if you wanted to get room service, that was easy to do. I definitely did that. And overall, I would say this hotel is probably around a 4.6 or 4.7 given the price. I got this hotel stay for under a uh, hundred, yeah, for about a hundred dollars. And I found that to be a very reasonable price. Ecuador in general is very affordable. If you guys have watched some of our other videos, I showed you guys around the hotels in Quito. I showed you around some of the hotels uh, in Olavato. Uh, so there's a lot of places around. I didn't stay in a hotel in Banos, although I really wanted to. Uh, that just wasn't really possible. But let me give you an update on what's going on for all of those who are subscribed and following this journey as we continue to show you hotels. We do have other channels, Island Hopper TV Travel Highlights, the main channel, Island Hopper um, TV. I've made a review of best things to do in Quito, Ecuador. I'm probably gonna do a uh, full thing, tr best places to go in Ecuador video, which will be very useful for those of you who want to see it. Although I realize uh, tra travel in South America is a little bit on the fence right now because they're having some civil unrest. They had civil unrest in Peru recently. They had civil unrest in Ecuador. Like I said, it was in martial law or it was in lockdowns until 10 o'clock, 12 o'clock curfews in January and February. But then I was going south into Chile and I just found out that they're also having civil unrest. So, uh, you know, it's a tough situation, but every time I go to these places, I have someone from a lo the local community saying, be careful in Ecuador, be careful in Peru. Be careful in Chile. And every time I get there, I'm like, this is really safe. So there's a heightened level of security when everything goes into uh, mayhem like that, which makes it even safer than it was before. But people think it's very dangerous because they see it on the news. So I would say don't take it lightly. Be aware of it because even the U.S. State Department issues a warning. But Ecuador does have that right now. Uh, I think Peru just got out of that, but it's still level two for both. And I Chile is the same thing. So we'll see if I actually ended up making it down to Chile, but I'm going to Cusco while here. So anyway, thank you to everyone who watches and we'll see you on the next one.